Compression, low point of the swing. Guys, I've got a, a brilliant exercise here and um, we're gonna zoom in and have a look at it. There's a couple of tees that I've put in the ground here and uh, you can scratch a line. Just to illustrate it better, I've actually uh, just used some spray paint here to get a line so you guys can see. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna zoom the camera in, have a look at this low point talk about a couple of things, might even take a couple in slow motion so we can see exactly where this low point of the swing is to get you guys to compress these golf balls out better, trap them better and stop hitting them fat and stop hitting them thin. This is one of the best drills because it actually shows the truth of where you're at that there is. So hey guys, you can see here what I've done. You can actually use a couple of golf balls as well if you're just putting two golf balls sort of there and scratch a line in or you can see the line but uh, the tees are good and you can just scratch a line between them and what you can do is actually just with your practice swings I'll just I'll just do one on this side here so I want to hit a few balls from that line so when I when I'm swinging through you can actually see where your low point is you can see that mine's landing forwards there okay so this ground's pretty hard here but you can see that it's not touching back. So what, what I do, sometimes you can have like, when, I, when I'm teaching someone, and I'll just give them 10 practice swings and about five they land back here. And my, a lot of people don't actually take anything. And then after a while, but it, they'll start to hit in front. But what, it's just such a great drill because what it does is, if you practice it, it promotes weight transference. It actually increases lag. I've done this with juniors, because um, you don't want to, you know, get too technical with some of the younger kids, but I've seen them use this drill over a period of time and, and increase lag and, and weight transference and, and start to press, slightly press the shots out with the low point being much more forwards than it is. You're looking at three to four inches, the lowest point here before it ascends. And most people have their low point back or actually on, on the ball, the lowest point. And you're, you're, you're making contact here, but your lowest point it's going to go then down and your lowest point is going to be around here and then it ascends and moves back upwards so then you can actually get then like instant feedback to see where your, your contact is you can see there that you know we're looking at the low point being somewhere around here you know three to four inches in front which is actually being tested by the way but this is just the best drill to incorporate so many different moves in your swing and you just get instant feedback, you get the truth. So many people are surprised they cannot actually do this. They hit back here, or they do that one, sorry, they do that one with no contact, or hit back, back here. But to get the thing, the club, to get in front, it's just a fantastic exercise. We'll hit one more in there, and then we'll get it on slow-mo, and see how that actually looks. So guys, it's a fantastic drill, get stuck into it. You can also, I recommend you using it for your pitching and some of your green side shots, some of your chip shots, whack a couple of tees in there, scratch a, scratch a line for that instant feedback, that, that gauge of where you are, and then you can apply it in your practice. If you are struggling to get in front of that line with the contact, then have a look at the, the videos for the lateral movement, some compression, some lag, where your low point is. But just by itself, guys, it's such a good drill and it really should clean up a lot of things for you and get you guys going.